Starting this week, the August patch 0.45 will be dropping in Rogue Company. There's actually a lot in this update, so buckle in as we try to get through it as quickly as possible. Recently, Hi-Rez released their roadmap for the rest of 2020. This patch rolls out Phase 1 of the roadmap, with Phase 2 and Phase 3 to follow later this year. There are two interesting new additions coming with Phase 1, the first of which is the new map Vice. Vice looks like a cyberpunk city map with some pretty stunning visuals. Along with Vice comes the release of the new shooting range for everyone to play. Although it's not as stunning visually as Vice is, it gets the job done and allows you to warm up before matches. Loosen up your throwing axe arm or practice those dirty 360 no-scopes. Bomb get the camera. On to the maps. There are also going to be some slight adjustments to Icarus, High Castle, and Favelas. Icarus will be seeing tweaks in spawn locations to prevent spawn trapping. High Castle will have some repropping of the top stairs, and Favelas will have some shelving units removed from the garage. These changes are likely for sightline improvements in those areas of the map. Let's talk about the rogues. We'll start with Anvil. There's an issue being fixed where Anvil's barricade would recharge in demolition. Glitch will not have access to the cloaked perk instead of the evade perk. Scorch will have her ability duration reduced from 15 seconds to 10 seconds. Vi is seeing an increase in the maximum health gained per tick from leeching poison from 1 to 2. What this really really means is that every health that you leech from your opponents you will get yourself. It used to be every two health you leech from an opponent you would only get one health. Now you're getting two. This may bring Vi up to more of a viable position than I had originally ranked her on my prior tier list video. Check the card up top or the link in the description for that video. Weapons. The level three upgrade on Anvil's LMG which tightens your spread now has lightly reduced effectiveness. Lancer Shotgun is getting a slight buff in the form of fall off range. We'll be seeing a slight increase in damage fall off range on the shotgun. For the gadgets, flashbang radius is being increased from 7 meters to 8 meters, and smoke grenades are increasing the speed at which smoke appears, increasing radius from 4 to 4.5 meters. In general, the bleed out rate is being increased from 9 seconds to 12 seconds. This may be further increased to 15 to 16 seconds, depending on if the 12 seconds isn't enough incentivization to revive teammates. In Strikeout, we're seeing a slight reduction in the radius at which enemies influence spawns and a slight increase in the radius at which friendlies influence spawns. This should help with a little bit of the spawn trapping and spawn killing that's happening in Strikeout matches. The Undo Purchase button will finally be going live. This will allow you to undo a purchase during the dropship phase of the game. A deserter and AFK penalty system is being added to the game, so in order to provide a more fair experience to players, this update is implementing a new system to discourage leaving matches early and going AFK. Remember that specific penalties could still change based on the data and the feedback. What we're being told right now is that there is a deserter penalty falling into one of three categories. Left a match early means a player who leaves a full party, not through a disconnection. The AFK deserter penalty is for any player that hasn't provided a valid action for approximately two minutes, and disconnected is a player that disconnected for at least five minutes before the match ends. If you meet one of these criteria, the player will be unable to queue for a match for a period of time based on the number of offenses. Players will see a timer denoting how long until they are able to queue again. The first offense being 10 minutes, second offense being 30, third offense being 4 hours, and the fourth offense being 24 hours. Slight tweaks to audio. There are some new additional voice lines. Some rogues will be having additional audio. Dima, Talon, and Ronan now have additional voice lines. And for bug fixes, C4 that a player attempts to detonate midair will now detonate once it has landed. Dropped weapons should now display pickup text. The no valid game mode should no longer appear when logging in. Rooftop exploit in favelas has been patched. Players should no longer receive a party size limit area for game modes, player names should no longer appear as numbers, and they fixed an issue with the versus screen, which could result in a bad match. That's it for patch notes 0.45. This is the first phase of the roadmap for 2020. We'll be covering all patch notes and updates for Rogue Company in the future. If you'd like to subscribe to get notified of when new updates and patches are rolling out with the game, make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and we will be back next time. If you'd like to catch us live, we're over on Twitch four days a week, all of which is detailed in the description below. As always, drink your waters. I'll see you next time.